In this problem, we want to solve the log equation. We got log base 6 of x plus log base 6 of x plus 5 is equal to 2. First step get everything with a log on one side, numbers on the other side. That's done. Step 2 use properties of logs to get a single log. Well, we have log of something plus log of something. Addition becomes multiplication. So this will be log base 6 of x times x plus 5 is equal to 2. So log base 6, x times x is x squared, x times 5 is 5x, equals 2. Step 3. Use definition of log to rewrite an exponent form. First thing we'll do is identify our b, p, and q. b is whatever the base is, so b is going to be 6. q is then whatever follows that, which is the x squared plus 5x. And p is the other side, which is 2. Now our exponent form looks like this. b to the p is equal to q. So we plugged in what we just identified. We said b was 6. So we've got 6 to the p power, and p is 2. So 6 squared equals q, which is x squared plus 5x. Now step 4 is to solve for x. To begin with, we've got 6 squared, which is 36, equals x squared plus 5x. Now this is a quadratic. We got an x squared, which means we want to get 0 on one side and then uh, see if we can factor. So I'll take 36, move it to the right side, and we got 0 is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 36. If this factors, it can factor using the PSC method. x squared x, no x, no number in front of the x squared. Uh, yeah, factors. So x plus 9 times x minus 4. Zero factor property. It says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you're going to set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 9 equal to zero, and I'll set x minus 4 equal to zero. And then solve those, and we get x equals negative 9, and x is equal to 4. Well, let's check them. If I put negative 9 back in my original equation, put negative 9 in here for this x, I'm going to have log of a negative number. We can't have that, so that one goes away. If I plug 4 in, put 4 here, we got log of 4, that's fine. Put 4 here, we got 4 plus 5, which is 9, that's fine. Neither one is 0 or negative. So x equals 4 is our answer. 